Hey guys, when I get into conversations with people, naturally the question comes up, what do you do for a living? And I'll always say, I teach tennis. I keep it vague for a reason. And then naturally the people like to dig a little bit deeper. And then I say, I teach tennis online. And often these people are left perplexed. They cannot understand how someone can teach tennis remotely without being on the court with the students. So in today's video, I wanna answer the question, is it possible to improve at tennis by watching instructional videos online? And if you had asked me this question a long time ago, I might have given the answer, no, you cannot improve at tennis by watching videos. However, since I'm in this industry, I've been doing it now for three years. I have had a lot of students, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, that yes, you can improve your game by watching instructional tennis videos online. Now, I wanna give a shout out to my friend and student, Felipe Sosa, who owns D Tennis. I'm representing D Tennis today. If you're ever in Sao Paulo, Brazil, look this guy up. He's not only a great tennis coach, but he's also a great player. Felipe is someone who started playing tennis later in life, and he's got a big desire to improve. And he found me very early on on my online tennis instructional career, and he had watched a bunch of my serve videos and he put them into practice. Now, the great thing was that he recorded himself serving at the very beginning and then two weeks later and then two weeks later and all the way months in, he had recorded himself and he sent me the footage, uh, which was apart three months and there was four tapes. And at this moment, I realized that you can absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, improve by watching instructional videos. However, I'm gonna say there might be some pitfalls along the way. So there's gonna be some things that you can improve by yourself. For example, if a coach online shows you uh, a different grip that might benefit your game and you go on the court and try that grip, or maybe a different way to prepare your forehand, this can work very easily and it's something that I've seen work with my students as well. However, there's gonna be uh, some more intricate technical details. For example, things that you might not be aware that you're doing wrong. The beautiful thing is that it's 2021, about to be 2022 and everybody's got a slow motion camera in their pocket you can always record yourself and in that case if you watch an instructional video for example a coach explaining the most common errors on the serve and then you watch yourself serve you might recognize some of the errors so improvement can work in that way as well now how about something that you hear very often that you cannot correct yourself that you need somebody standing next to you on the court a coach and telling you what you're doing wrong and that is true to some extent however as i explained earlier with the help of video footage this is something that you can do yourself of course this is a little bit more tiresome than having a coach next to you if you have video footage you would have to look at the footage throughout the practice and most likely it would have to be good quality footage recorded in slow motion because some of the things that are executed on strokes are some are things that we're not conscious of these are things that are happening too fast so these things need to be looked over in slow motion footage and there is a hidden danger in that as well that you become a little too obsessed on these small intricate details of your technique and you spend way too much time looking at slow motion footage and this disrupts your practice and it takes away from the reps that you would normally get. And look, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you ask me, Nick, what's better, having you on the court with me in a private lesson or having you talk to me uh, through a screen? Of course, it's gonna be better and easier for you to get better if I'm on the court with you. There's absolutely no doubt about that. But this doesn't mean that instructional videos in general, I'm not even talking about myself here, instructional tennis videos can be very helpful because you might have been taking lessons for a long time and all of a sudden you hear something that you never heard before and now you're excited. You are ready to hit the practice courts again and try out the thing that you heard online and see if it really works. So guys, I'm not being a hypocrite here. I'm always telling you my honest opinion. Yes, online instruction, does work and I'm not only telling you this because I make money teaching tennis online. I myself have learned a lot of things online with a beautiful thing that is a platform called YouTube. Thank you YouTube. Without YouTube I would not have been able to develop my methodology because I went through painstaking detail to do research on the best players in the world and we have all this footage available to us 
for free. And it's not only free slow motion footage, it's also hundreds of thousands, if not millions of free lessons online. You don't have to pay anything. You type in the thing that you want to work on. You're going to see tons of videos pop up on YouTube and there's going to be some fantastic coaches that are going to teach you remotely. So online instruction is a great thing. It's not a bad thing at all. I know some people will make the argument, hey, people are just on their computers at home or on their phones, uh, on their couch, watching these videos and trying to get better from their couch. This is obviously not the case. These people are watching instructional videos and of course they're gonna go out the next day and try out whatever it is that they heard. Now, one more thing that I wanna point out that YouTube is not only educational, but it also is entertainment. And we as content creators that are in the online tennis instruction niche, we also have to make the videos entertaining because we know that if we make the videos boring, you're gonna tune off and go somewhere else. However, I do think that the entertainment factor is super important because this can possibly create a lot of excitement for tennis and grow this beautiful sport.